Welcome back travelers. Today we are going to be having a lot of fun because, well, let's be honest, there's a lot of reviews out there that don't target to certain demographics like myself, the fat man. We are going to be testing out the WowGo S2 2S 2S. WowGo 2S skateboard today. And the reason I thought this test would be really, really valuable is because, well, let's be honest, when you watch these tests, it's like small dudes, or not small dudes, but not dudes as big as me. And I know that there's other fat people out there just like me who want to be able to ride an electric skateboard, but can't do it because, well, we're just too big. So I'm here with my relatively new WowGo 2S skateboard, and we're going to take the time to break down some of the specs. I don't want to spend too much time on it because let's be honest, no one really cares about the specs. You can always check that online. But we're going to check out some of the specs and get this thing rolling and test it out to see if a fat land like me can actually cruise around on this board. So let's do a quick rundown of the specs of the board. Basically, control board, super simple. It does actually come with a really nice rack, and I just want to point that out. Really nice wall hanging rack, uh, the charger. It does come with a USB-C, no, regular uh, USB micro charger uh, for the control as well. And then you've got the board. A real quick show of the board. Pretty nice, I like it so far. Uh, nice thick grip tape on the back for your back planting foot and then just regular grip tape up front. I do like the WowGo sim or the WowGo name and then the WowGo symbol. I just think it looks kind of cool. And then on the back, I really, really like this. It basically looks like a nice little engraving. Like it's got the WowGo symbol with the WowGo. I think it's pretty cool. So real quick, quick and easy power button right here. Hold it for a couple seconds, press it, turns on. Hold it again and it turns off. Once the controller is selected, it'll actually stay solid red and you know you're connected. Uh, dual hub motors, 90 inch wheels. Uh, I did go with the version that had the four, four amp hour battery. So I'm supposed to get about 10 to 12 miles on it. We'll actually see once we finish the test. I have recently ridden it and uh, I did about six miles when I did that. So if I can kind of, as I turn on the control, so power's on. Um, if I press the power button, oh, let me turn the board back on. And you can see that the board is actually at uh, two right now. And I, I did about six miles, so that's not too shabby uh, on par with the 12 that it says you're going to get. Uh, a couple buttons on the control. So bottom button here basically changes the speed. So you can see that's slow, that's medium, and that's fast, really, really quick. Over on the side or right under the throttle, you've got forward and reverse. So if I hit reverse, you'll see that the arrows actually go backwards and then, or the dots go backwards and they go forwards for reverse. And then the throw, I really like the throw. On this one, I'm gonna go turn the board off real quick just because I don't want this to move around. Um, but really long throw, very comfortable all the way forward, all the way back. Feels really good. I mean, all in all, I just, I like the feel of the board so far. I've tested out a little bit, but I haven't really been paying attention to the particulars. I've just been kind of making comfortable riding. I haven't ridden a skateboard in a long time, so that's kind of where we're at. But <clears throat> next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and take this out, throw it on the road, and get started with it. <laughs> kill myself but we're gonna try it first I'm gonna start off in the slowest speed settings and kind of see how that goes I will say right off the bat it's actually really comfortable to ride like the road I'm on or the path I'm on is pretty wobbly and the board seems to suck that up pretty easily so that's kind of cool uh, I'm not I believe I'm in the slowest setting I might be in the fastest setting because I'm picking up speed pretty good here the max speed, I have a hard time believing it's ever going to get to 22 miles an hour with me on it, but we'll keep testing it out. And because there's no hills where I'm at right now, what we're going to go do is actually head over to a place and test the hills out towards the end of the battery. I'm going to get about probably about seven or eight miles into it and then go test that out. But oh my goodness. This is scary for someone who doesn't ride very often. Um, I'm gonna try not to kill myself with the camera. So we're up to our last test now, which is basically testing out this 30 degree grade hill uh, ability that it has. 
Now I did lose a little bit of my tracking data. I received a phone call and accidentally stopped my uh, distance tracker. So I stopped that at about six miles. I did about another two and a half miles after that, so it's not too bad. About eight and a half miles right now, and I've still got a little more than a quarter of a battery. I've got one whole light and uh, uh, a blinking second light, so we'll see. But right now, here's our hill. I don't know if this is actually 30 degree grade or not, but I mean, it's a decent little hill and I'm a big dude. So I was like, I'm really stressing and testing this thing out by doing a lot of these things because the thing I believe was set or all the standards were set by someone who's like 170 kilometers or something like that. I think it comes out to be like a 210 pound man or something like that. And it says not to ride it if you're over 260. Obviously 310 is well over 260. So. I think it's a good test, but it cleared the hill no problem whatsoever. So we're gonna go back and finish up for the day. And now just enjoy the nice ride home. I actually just got a warning, uh, vibration on the control, so I'm assuming that means I'm down to about a quarter battery, I don't know. Should be dying out soon, but I'm not too far away from home, so we'll get back there and I'll kind of give you some of my final thoughts on it. So let me tell you, I really, really, I'm digging on this board. For the price point, I don't think you can really beat it right now. The fact that it can lug me around, um, and I'm a good 50 pounds over its weight limit, and the fact that I actually ended up getting a total of 9.8 miles, my max speed was 20.2, and I'm trying to remember my stats off the top of my head, but I'll be posting them on the screen as we do it. Um, Acceleration is a little bit bogged down, so that's to be, you know, uh, you know, expected. I'm a pretty big dude, but all in all, not too bad at all. For a, for a board, especially if you're just trying to get into the, the electric skateboard, uh, you know, world and stuff like that, at this price point, I think I got it at 420 or 419, you really can't beat that at all. And the fact that it can lug me around and I'm a really, really big dude, that I think there's something to give to say for, or something to say for it, so. I mean, all in all, I'm going to go ahead and give this two thumbs up. But that's all we really got for today. So if you guys are enjoying uh, some of the stuff on the channel, please don't hesitate to hit that like and subscribe. Um, leave comments down if you do have any questions. I'm more willing to answer questions about the board and kind of what I've done and what I do with it in my testing and all that fun stuff. But until next time, I you all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.